Well, there's a reason we've documented much of the corruption by the FBI, their infiltrating of various movements, the entrapment in the Gretchen Whitmer case, the glowies at January 6th, the unusual ties that they seem to have to many mass firearm events, and it's that they've become the police force for the global world order. Donald Trump announces Mar-a-Lago raided under siege and occupied by the FBI. Moments ago, Donald Trump, who was still banned by Twitter, which was the original most outrageous thing we've ever seen done to a former president, published a statement on Truth Social in which he said that his Florida home, Mar-a-Lago, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. An assault which, according to him, could only take place in broken third world countries. His full statement on his Truth Social. Statement by Donald Trump, 45th President of the United States of America. These are dark times for our nation as my beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided, and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. Nothing like this has ever happened to a president of the United States before. After working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. It is prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to run in 2024. You've seen a lot of that in the... uh, in the spin cycle in the media lately, especially based on recent polls and who will likewise do anything to stop Republicans and conservatives in the upcoming midterm elections. Probably plenty of fortification. Such an assault could only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has now become one of those countries, corrupt at a level not seen before and wide out in the open. They They are absolutely fearless because they no longer fear any consequences. They do not believe that anybody, even a president, has the ability to stop them now. What is the difference between this and Watergate, where operatives broke into the DNC? Here in reverse, the Democrats broke into the home of the 45th president of the United States. This should be a scandal that we talk about, well, for the rest of my lifetime. Should be. The political persecution of President Donald J. Trump has been going on for years with the fully debunked Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax one, impeachment hoax two, which was more like Biden's actual guilt, and so much more, it never ends. Hillary Clinton was allowed to delete and acid wash 33,000 emails after they were subpoenaed by Congress. Of course, we all know running a top secret server out of your bathroom would land any of the rest of us in jail. I don't know who actually roots for this. Who thinks that evil is going to reward them once they seize absolute control? But plenty of people seem to go, yeah, that's the side I'm on. Or at least I can't stand any more mean tweets. He continues, I stood up to America's bureaucratic corruption. I restored power to the people and truly delivered for our country like we've never seen before. The establishment hated it. Now, as they watch my endorsed candidates win big victories and see my dominance in all polls, they are trying to stop me in the Republican Party once more. The lawlessness, lawlessness, political persecution, and witch hunt must be exposed and stopped. I will continue to fight for the great American people. Oh, it's exposed. It's wide out in the open. Local reporters have confirmed the raid. Apparently they just left. Not sure what the search warrant was about. Yeah, what what would it be about? You know, think about it. It's persecution. It's not like he had like a bag of weed on him or something. (laughs) Zero Hedge with their typical sardonic sense of humor says here are a few knee-jerk reactions hey that's what this is breaking the u.s government is currently raiding an opposition party leader's home as seen in tin pot dictatorships if this were happening in another country the state department would condemn it and fund the opposition i think that it's time that the government starts sending me some uh some of that money uh some of those tools we're sending to ukraine 
That stuff looks pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know about this one because the Republicans refuse to weaponize their prosecutors as Dems do. I, I think it's the mono party because outside of the MAGA party and various other shades, libertarians and whatnot, you just have the mono party, the uniparty. And they're all scratching each other's back, and there's a real threat out there. Say what you will, the guy's got flaws. But this, this imagine how afraid they have to be, or how confident, I'm not sure which it is, in order to do this right in front of the world. Right in front of the world. Benny Johnson, we live under a morally repugnant Gestapo regime. Our founders would puke, this is not America. Uh, I'm afraid that it is, though, Benny. And we've let it become that way. <laughs> so, you're saying we're a banana republic. I don't know how to end this other than going, well, yep, cuppy. Seems like we are a banana republic indeed. <laughs>